Hello everybody, my name is Brandon. Welcome back to Cinefessions where we talk all things media. And after a very long time, I am back in my car. So you know that that means we are going on another media hunting vlog. So today specifically, what I'm looking for are some DVDs from Disc Replay. So uh, one of the people that watches the channel, one of my subscribers, uh, Chuck, shout out to Chuck. Thank you for letting me know about this. Um, but he is actually a media collector and a media hunter here in my local area. And so he mentioned that all week this week, they've been having a buy two, get eight free on DVDs at one specific disc replay. And so I was at my local disc replay yesterday and this morning actually, um, and they did not have that going on. They have their standard buy three, get three. So I figured, you know what? Let's make the drive out to this other area here and see if they have it. It's like a half hour drive or so. So, you know, not super close, but it is what it is. It's worth it if I can get buy two, get eight free. So 10 movies for like less than $7, which is ridiculous. And so I'm going to go check it out. He did say it looks a little picked over, but he's been there like every day this week. And so uh, he mentioned that, you know, it might just look picked over to him because he saw it at the beginning. And so I'm sure there's going to be a ton there because this one is usually just floor to ceiling packed with DVDs. And so I'm intrigued to see what I can find. Hopefully something cool. I guess I'm not looking for anything in particular. I would like to complete my scary movie collection. I have scary movies one through four, but for whatever reason, I just cannot come across five in my local disc replay. I don't know what it is about number five. So that one I will be specifically searching for. But other than that, I'm really just going to be looking for anything that looks interesting. Uh, so let's do it. If you guys are excited about this video, please give it a like down below. I really do appreciate that. And that really does help out the channel. So thanks for that support. But with that said, let's not waste any more time at all. Let's go ahead and make that around 30 minute journey out to this disc replay to stay, take advantage of this buy two, get eight free sale that they're having on DVDs. This is probably bouncing around way too much to be useful, but that was insane. I have two big bags filled with things. I ended up getting 30 DVDs and I even found a 4K uh, movie that was a really good price. And so really excited to share with you guys what I got. But first I'm actually going over, well, there was my turn. I'm going over to Big Lots, see if I can find anything out here while I'm here. So that's where our next stop is. We'll see what Big Lots has to offer. This Big Lots looks like super empty, so it'd be interesting to see if they actually have anything good here. Not been to this one in quite some time, so let's run on in and see what we've got. Look at this ground, it's disgusting still. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe how much snow is still out here. It's been like two days, people. Why are there no plows? All right, anyway, complaining aside, let's go see what Big Lots has to offer us. So 
I'm seeing pretty much the same stuff I always do. They do have Friday Night Lights first and second season, but if you were lucky, you could actually find those at the Dollar Tree, which is pretty par for the course when it comes to movies here. But not seeing anything terribly interesting today, which is disappointing. Lucy, this is like the TV section, another one from the Dollar Tree that I got in the past. Lots of Blu-rays, but again, they're all the same stuff that's been here for a while. A lot of the big lots have been getting new stock in, and they've been putting these old ones on clearance, but unfortunately this is not one of them. And it looks like it's all Blu-rays that I already own or have no interest in, so that is a little bit disappointing. I guess we're striking out at big lots today. I just happened upon these, and these are actually kind of cool. I'm not going to get them, but they're pretty nice. They have Batman, Joker, and then a metal tech Batman. Like, these are just cool. For five bucks, pretty detailed. I like it. My complaining paid off. Now they're plowing, so <laughs> it was totally worth complaining. Anyway, let me put you guys up in here. So Big Lots ended up being a bust, unfortunately. So I have, like I said, two bags filled with stuff to talk about. So that's just a lot to talk about in the car, especially when it's so cold out and I can't really have the heat running while it's so cold. So I'm thinking I'm gonna make the 30 minute trek back home and uh, we'll plop down in front of the camera and show you guys everything that I ended up finding at Disc Replay from their buy two get eight free sale. So let's, uh, it'll be about half an hour for me, but it'll only be seconds for you guys. Ah, the magic of movie making, right? Love you more. Bye. Bye. Okay, so change the plan. Wife and daughter are going to Five Below, so I'm gonna hit Barnes and Noble. All right, that was successful. Found a few things, which I wasn't expecting to do in this video, but that's how it goes. So now we're heading to Target and then we'll finally get back home to share with you guys everything we got. I think it was Chuck in my last video challenged me to find the Darth Bane trilogy in physical form. Well, here we are, there's book one. Oh, this is the Thrawn trilogy. Darth Bane book two, more Thrawn trilogy. I don't know, somewhere in here is probably book three of the Darth Bane series, but I'm guessing he actually meant the original printings, the Legends printings, but it's cool that they have these here anyway, so this one is excellent so far. I love it. Did you guys know that they sold manga here at Target now? Got Legend of Zelda, one of the best ever, Spy Family, Dr. Stone, obviously Dragon Ball, and Demon Slayer, very popular, My Hero Academia. Um, this one here, I would love to start. I've heard good things. I can't even say it. Hai haiku, maybe? But it's like a volleyball manga. I would like to read that. Yeah, so they're a little light today, but it's cool that they have it. One Punch Man, another another one that I actually have the first couple volumes of, but have to read. So just cool random stuff here at Target. This is so cool. This always throws me every time I see it because I'm thinking, oh, a new Bentley Little novel. Well, it's not. It's an old one, but they reprinted it in this really nice cover. And this is one that I actually read either last year or two years ago, that was actually quite good. Uh, it's very Bentley Little, so it's gonna have like crazy random acts of violence and sex in it, but it's a good book and this is a really cool printing of it, so definitely recommend that one. This is such a nice steel book, but I've never seen this before and I don't know that I'd love it, but for 13 bucks, that's a really tempting one. 
the Target exclusive steelbook for Wonder. It's been on sale for a couple weeks now. Oh, all right. Bags of stuff here from Disc Replay. Move my microphone a little bit closer. There we go. Bags of stuff from Target. I actually, an item came in from Amazon, so I figure I'll open that here. And then Barnes & Noble with some new bags at Barnes & Noble. That's fun. Um, so let's start with Barnes & Noble because I was not expecting that at all. So I walked in, went to the manga section because that's where I tend to go. And lo and behold, Chainsaw Man was back in stock. So I ended up grabbing volume one. Volume 3 and Volume 4 of Chainsaw Man, which is just an awesome series. At least the first volume was awesome, so I'm hoping that I like the rest of it. Um, I actually still have Volume 2. I was actually planning on selling Volume 2 because I was not able to find anything else in the series uh, because it's so difficult to find. Well, I guess they did another reprinting. Actually, I was looking in here, and like I want to say this is like, does it say like the 20th reprinting? The sixth, I don't know where I got 20th, but it's the sixth reprinting of this. And so thankfully I was able to get this. So that was really cool. Like I said, the first volume was awesome. I read that one for my manga reading vlog way back when, I, last year now, I guess last March or May or whenever it was, um, really enjoyed it. So I want to continue on, but I really need to read the first one again because it's been so long. So grabbed all, or, so now I have the first four volumes, grabbed one, three, and four of Chainsaw Man. I know my buddy watching this is going to be really happy because that's like his favorite series ever, uh, or one of them at least. And so I know he'll be happy that I finally am going to read up on it. Uh, and then I have an Amazon package here. So I guess I'll open this now too, because why not? So this one is one that I ended up grabbing. Uh, I think this was two days ago. It went on sale. Oh yes. And it still has the slip cover. Not that it's in the best shape, but the deer hunter on 4k from shout factory. It's a shout selects. This is one that I've never seen before and I've been wanting to get this release of it because it's from Shout and it's 4K. So I've been wanting this one in my collection. I just never got around to ordering it and it was a little bit more expensive than I wanted to pay. Well, on Amazon this week, it might still be on sale if I'm, you know, if I end up releasing this this week, uh, but you can check it out for sure because it's a good price right now. So if you're interested, check out Deer Hunter. So that was cool. Very excited to see this one. I've heard kind of mixed things about it, but I'm sure it's going to be fine either way. I'm sure I won't hate it. So that's always cool. You can see a bunch of special features there on the back. Yeah. So my first Shout Factory 4K item, I do have a couple Scream Factory, which of course is Shout Factory, but you know what I mean. So yeah, Deer Hunter. All right. Now for the big in here. You know what? I didn't even sort any of these. So let me take a second, get these sorted out a little bit, and then I'll show you everything I ended up picking up from Disc Replay today. So I guess we'll start with the other 4K item I grabbed today, and that is Space Jam, A New Legacy. So this one was just totally random. It was one of the first things I looked at when I walked into Disc Replay today. And uh, I had this one in my hand and then Skyscraper, but turns out I already own Skyscraper. Uh, but you can see the price was really good. And so I figured, you know what? I've not seen this one yet. Let's add it to the collection. I do have, uh, I actually, I don't have the original on 4K yet, but I will probably get that one eventually when it drops down to, you know, about this price. That seems to be the price I'd like to pay for it. But I used to love the original Space Jam. So I figured I would grab Space Jam Legacy for that really good price. And what's awesome is my buddy actually sent me the, the slip cover for that when he sent me my, I think it was my Christmas gifts this past year, completely random, but he, sometimes he'll send me some slip covers of movies that he's trading away because he doesn't need them. And so he knows I buy a lot of used movies. And so now I have the slip cover for this too, which is just perfect. I didn't even open this. Yeah. They're both in here because the other day I bought something where it didn't have both of the items. So that was annoying. But anyway, all right. So let's now let's talk uh, TV series here. So they had a bunch like typically their TV series are separated out and they're like five bucks minimum. But if they have a bunch of copies of something or they just get lazy, frankly, I don't know what happens. But sometimes those TV series will end up just in the regular DVD section. I noticed that at all of the disc replays I go to. And so this was one I may have showed it in my clip earlier, but I actually had to get a step stool because it was so high up. I'm like, man, I can't reach this. Fortunately, they had a step stool on standby. And so I ended up finding Cosmos, which 
is a, I think it's like a four part TV series or mini series, I guess. Um, but it's a space time odyssey. And this is uh, from Carl Sagan. And I remember when this came out, I really wanted to own it and, and see it, but I never did. Uh, I actually rented this one when I worked at family video, but I never actually got around to watching the whole thing. I think I started it, but I just never finished it for whatever reason. And so very happy to find this, this is actually a four disc set with the slip cover, which is awesome. And again, this was buy two, get eight free, and they are $3.33 each. So $6.66 gets you 10 DVDs, which is just absurd. And like I said earlier, I found 30 of them. So this is the first one, Cosmos, a space-time odyssey. And I will have to hurry this up a little bit because I don't want this to be too stupid long. So the next three, I actually saw season three, in one section, I kept going. I saw season two and I was like, oh, I should get these, but I don't, I don't want it without season one. I'll just watch these streaming. I don't need them. And then at the very last section, I found season one. And so I was like, well, you know what? I'm going to do it. Like the, the price is right. Just do it. I can still watch it streaming, but I have the first three seasons on DVD now. So that's cool. Um, but then of course it took me forever to go back and find them because I, as you guys saw in the clips, like it was just mountains of, of DVDs. And so actually trying to find the other two were, was very difficult. But anyway, I'm talking Falling Skies. So I have Falling Skies season one two and three. So this is a series that I watched like the pilot episode of this when it was brand new and I thought it was interesting. I liked it, but I just, I don't watch things when they're new. It just doesn't happen. And so I never finished it, but I've actually been thinking about this series lately because it's been at my local disc replay on Blu-ray, um, but it's been a little bit more than I wanted to pay for it. And so I figured for this price, like pennies. Yeah, I'm going to give it a shot. And so I will watch these three DVDs and then, you know, hopefully I can finish the whole, there's only five seasons. So hopefully I can finish the series on the cheap, which frankly, I might just spend like the five bucks each. They are at uh, my disc replay. Cause I think they're available there. So we'll see, but I did find falling sky season one, two, and three, just, to, I don't know, just cool to find these for such a ridiculous price. So those were all the TV series. Now let me reach over here and uh, I'll grab the wrestling and MMA items I found. Uh, so the first one here, like this is real, like this is an awesome find. I bet this one would actually be worth some money on eBay if I, you know, ever wanted to sell it. But this is Pride FC, and this is number one. Like that's so cool. So this is from the Tokyo Dome. Like how awesome the original Pride FC from the Tokyo Dome. You have Rickson Gracie versus uh, Nobuhiku Takada. Kimo versus Dan the Beast Severin. Absolutely, I love Dan Severin from Michigan. Was in the WWE. Like I've watched a bunch of his fights from the original handful of the MMA or the UFC cards I've watched. Uh, just like a really cool card, and I've never seen this before. So I thought this was awesome. I'm really excited to have number one of this. I bet you, like I said, I bet that one's kind of expensive online. Um, and then going to UFC, I found Ultimate Knockouts 1 and 2. And it's weird because they're on one DVD, so I thought that was kind of strange, but hey, that's all right. Um, it's a 120-minute double feature, so I guess each of them are 60 minutes. But I do have Ultimate Knockouts, uh, I think it's number three, so I have the first three now in the collection. And uh, basically, it's just going to give you, like, best of fights where the knockouts were, you know, ultimate. So, yeah, I thought that was a cool one. And then the last UFC one is Ultimate Knockouts number seven. So this has anybody I know on here? I don't know, but there's 32 fights. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize there were so many. How are you gonna fit 32 fights in? How long is this one? 60 minutes, so I guess they don't show the whole fight, which is a little bit disappointing, but whatever. Again, for the price, I don't care. Ultimate Knockouts one and two and number seven. So I need like, what, four, five, and six, I guess, and I'll have the first seven. Um, but anyway, the other one is WWE Top 50 Superstars of All Time. So this just looks like a lot of fun. It's a three disc set and there's more than 20 matches on it. So, you know, is this available on the network? Yeah, of course it is. But honestly, since the network has moved to Peacock, I just hate the WWE network now. Um, I'll watch it for the premium live events. But other than that, I just don't, I, I just don't like watching it because it's annoying. Um, but either way, yeah, this looks like a really good one. See all these classic superstars here. This is just cool. 
I, I have a bunch of WWE DVDs, and so this is just another one for that collection. I would bet you there was probably like a slip cover that this used to be housed in, because typically they don't sit like that. There's usually something it goes in, but that's okay. They didn't have it. Um, so there was actually a surprising lack of wrestling DVDs there today, which is disappointing because I was hoping to grab a, little, a few more, but is what it is. At least I got some of these, so that's always cool. So that's all of like the miscellaneous. So now let's start talking about the movies I grabbed on DVD. There are so many here, so I'm going to try to go through these quickly, but the first one I ended up finding is Black Knight with Martin Lawrence, and this movie is hilarious. Like, I remember watching this when I was much, much younger, and I always enjoyed it. Martin Lawrence is just hilarious. Like, I always remember that opening scene where, like, he lights up his lighter, and it's just, like, amazing to these people. So, this is, like, this uh, this man goes back in time, essentially, and goes to the, like, you know, having a lighter was amazing. Uh, he goes back to the you know, uh, what would it be like the time of the nights, I guess. I don't know exactly when that would be, but, uh, yeah, it's just a comedy and it's done really well. It's funny. I think Martin Lawrence is great in that. So that was the first one I found. This one here, I grabbed just to complete the collection. I don't like these movies at all, but my wife really does. Um, if you guys watch my Inherited movie collection, you'll know that I got number two out of that. Uh, and so this is the third one in the last of this trilogy. Of course, there is the remake, which we do own that as well. But uh, this is Left Behind World at War. So this is the third one in the Kirk Cameron uh, religious series. And so, yeah, like I said, not my thing at all. But my wife likes it, and now we have the entire trilogy. And you know I'm a sucker for a complete series, so that's why I grabbed that. Speaking of, I actually found Spy Kids, a spoiler for one of my upcoming thrift store hauls, maybe? I don't remember where I got it, but I found Spy Kids 3D on the cheap. So I had to get Spy Kids and Spy Kids 2, so now I have the entire series. Um, yeah, so I've not seen any of these before, but I'm guessing they're going to be fun, and I know my daughter will like them when she gets a little bit older. So yeah, hopefully these will be a good time. I mean... They made a trilogy out of it, so somebody likes these. So yeah, we'll see. Spy Kids and Spy Kids 2. And the Spy Kids 2 actually is in this like really nice uh, slip cover here, like a whatever you want to call this, with a ton of special features on there. So I just thought that was a cool release of it. That was the only movie I had them clean because obviously I check every disc. One, to make sure they're there, and two, to make sure they look good. And Spy Kids was the only one I needed him to clean, and it looks perfect now, so... That was awesome. Speaking of movies that I found recently on the cheap, I actually found Inspector Gadget 2. Well, today I came across the original Inspector Gadget, so of course I had to grab it. Um, I didn't even like remember that I'd found number two so recently until I came across this one. I was like, oh, that's right. I need this original. So now I have both of those movies in my collection. But I used to love Inspector Gadget when I was a kid. One of my all-time favorite shows growing up. I have not seen the cartoon in so, so long, but I would like to get a complete series of that at some point, but I've never seen these with Matthew Broderick in it. Uh, but yeah, so I'm hoping those ones are just as fun as the, the cartoon. And then another uh, original and sequel, Short Circuit and Short Circuit 2. So these were movies that I remember watching the original when I was a lot younger, but I don't know that I've ever seen the sequel at all. I may have when I watch it, I might remember it, but uh, I liked these. I don't remember too much about them because it's been so long since I've seen them, but I remember these being pretty fun movies. So Short Circuit 1 and 2, I found the uh, the sequel over in the A's because that just makes sense. And then I found this one over in like, I don't even know, like the P's. Uh, uh, the A to Z on the wall was definitely more of a suggestion uh, than anything because everything was just everywhere. It was absolutely chaos in there in terms of trying to find a movie. So I just started at the very beginning and worked my way all the way around. I spent like two hours in there looking at everything because I knew I wasn't going to go back. And so I just wanted to make sure I saw everything and it was nuts, but I'm so happy. It was totally worth it. Um, the next one here, this is awesome. This is Snowden. And I, I just love uh, uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. And so this is a movie that I actually learned about thanks to uh, Plaid X2's channel. He did the five with, um, oh my gosh, I'm forgetting her channel name right now, but I'll, I'll put it up here. I feel like such a jerk. I can't remember the channel name, but uh, she's great. And one of her movies she talked about in that was Snowden. And so that ad got added to my list. Now it was on my Blu-rays to find list, but I've not been able to find it on Blu-ray. And this is the first time I've seen it on DVD. So I had to pick up Snowden. That one should be really good. A nice thriller of sorts. Um, and then a three movie collection. I love when I find these because then I'm getting even more movies for such a low price. This one is a Will Ferrell collection. And it turns out I don't own 
any of these, which kind of blow, blew my mind. But uh, we have Step Brothers, The Other Guys, and the reason I got this, Talladega Nights. I love Talladega Nights so much. Um, I've seen parts of Step Brothers. I thought that one was funny for what I've seen of it, but I'm not seeing any of The Other Guys. So yeah, I, I'm sure this isn't going to be you know the most amazing thing ever, but Talladega Nights was worth it alone. Uh, I, I love that movie. It is so funny. And this is one where all three movies come on three separate DVDs. So that's always a good thing too. And they're all, you know, in the correct uh, aspect ratio. So I was very happy to find this. Will Ferrell collection, three good comedies for the, for the physical collection here. Another one that was on my physical or my Blu-ray to buy list was The Help. Well, I've not been able to find it on Blu-ray. So I just grabbed the super cheap DVD because why not? Uh, this is one where like, I think the DVD is going to totally be sufficient, but I always heard great things about this one, but I've never seen it before. And I love the cast. So I'm sure that one will be fun when I get around to it. Another comedy here. Uh, this is Monty Python's The Life of Brian, and Brian, and this is the Immaculate Edition. Um, and so, yeah, this one, it says a timeless epic that's only 93 minutes long. And if I'm not mistaken, I think if it's not a sequel, it's at least like a spiritual successor to... Um, Oh my gosh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Um, and so that one I actually found recently as well. Well, I guess sometime last year on DVD. And so I figured I would grab Life of Brian because it was there and I would like to watch through these at some point. So excited to have Life of Brian in the collection. And then a movie I picked up yesterday when I was at my disc replay on Blu-ray, but I decided, you know what? I have the original on DVD, so I'm just going to hold off on this Blu-ray until I find it a little bit cheaper. Then I came across the DVD of Super Troopers 2, so I just added this one to my collection. So now I do have both of the Super Troopers movies in the collection, and I've actually not seen the second one yet. I've only seen the original, which is hilarious, but it's been many, many years since I've seen it. And so we'll uh, eventually get around to Super Troopers 2. So really cool one for the comedy series. Section. I totally forgot to mention it earlier, but one of the movies I actually uh, was seeking today, Scary Movie 5, I was not able to find. So that was a little bit disappointing. I don't know why Scary Movie 5 would be difficult to find, but I just can't, I can't come across it. So I, mean, I have another disc replay that's not really that close, but I might run out there tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see because I really would like to finish my scary movie collection, but I know it's so silly. Anyway, next up here is another one that I was really looking for and I was very happy to find it. The first one I found was in really bad shape, so I put it back. But then later on, I found a good copy of The 13th Warrior with Antonio Banderas. So why I wanted this one, I think, did I even talk about I might have talked about this earlier. I don't remember, but um, this is uh, from the, it's based on a novel written by Michael Christ. I think the, the novel is Eater of the Worlds or something like that. And uh, this one is actually supposed to be a pretty good adaptation of that book. So I wanted to pick it up and see what it was like. And uh, yeah, I had no idea that this was something like that before. So I now that I know what it is, I'm very intrigued to see it. So yeah, 13th Warrior with Antonio Banderas. That one should be pretty good. Another one that's related to my inherited movie collection. You guys, if you watch that, you might know I found the sequel to The Net, which is The Net 2.0. Um, but I did not have the original in the collection. So I grabbed the net with Sandra Bullock and, uh, yeah, this one should just be fun. I don't know. I've not seen this before and it's actually brand new, which is really cool. I don't know if you can make that out, but yeah, so I don't know. We'll see if this one is good. And I have the sequel to it as well, which I know you can get both of those on, uh, uh Blu-ray from, I think Mill Creek released them last year, but again, I paid, you know, almost nothing for both of them. So I think this is the way to go. Um, another one for the after dark horror fest, uh, collection. This is unrest. Now this one does have a sticker on the slip cover. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to save that slip or not, but this is one that I always like this cover is so iconic to me. I remember when this was new and, uh, yeah, I just one that I've really wanted in my collection for a long time. So very happy to add unrest in there. I would love to have a full series or full collection of that series, but uh, I'm slowly making my way there. Next up is a movie that I remember so vividly from when I worked at uh, Family Video, and I've always wanted to see it ever since I saw it. This is 247 Degrees. Now, you can't see the full title there because of the sticker, but another one I'll probably have to get rid of the slipcover, to be honest, but 247 Degrees, and this one actually has Scout Taylor Compton in it, who I really enjoy. I just watched a movie with her in it uh, a couple nights ago, I guess now, called Ghost House from 2017, and it was like shockingly good, super 
super well shot. Uh, the cinematography on it was remarkable. So I really recommend that one. It was it was pretty creepy too. It was just a good movie. Nothing like it's very you know, it, it kind of follows the tropes you would expect, but it's still good. Like a seven out of ten movie, you know. I think I gave it four out of five stars on Letterboxd. Um, but anyway, 247 degrees also has Scout Taylor Compton in it. Uh, which if you the, if the name's not familiar, if you've seen Rob Zombie's Halloween, she played like the Laurie Strode character in that. Uh, and so she's great. And she actually has a podcast with Danielle Harris, who also was in the, uh, you know, Rob Zombie remakes, but also in the original, what was it, four and five. Uh, she's wonderful. And uh, they have a podcast together that I just started listening to. And it's so good. It's very explicit. It's very adult. Um, it's about like sex and horror, basically, is how they sell it. But it is awesome so far. I'm only, like I said, one episode in, but I highly recommend it. I think it's called Talk Horror to Me. Uh, I can't get it back in right now, but I think it's called Talk Horror to Me. Definitely recommend that if you are into that style of podcast. Uh, like I said, very adult themes, but really good. Um, the next one here is so silly, but of all the Medea movies, of all the Tyler Perry movies I was interested in, this is the one, Boo. Um, and this is a Medea Halloween. And so this is just like a horror movie, but done in the Medea style. So I really have always wanted to check this one out. I've not seen any of the Medea movies, but I saw a trailer for one the other day and I was actually laughing. I was thinking, you know, this actually looks pretty funny. And so maybe, you know, these will be good. And Boo just happened to be there. And there's actually a sequel to that one where if you go to Walmart right now, they have some really cool slip covers on all of the Tyler Perry movies. Uh, so I was tempted to grab Boo and Boo 2 while I was there the other day, but I'm glad I didn't because this is the way I should be doing this, paying almost nothing for it. Uh, just a handful left here. Another one that I remember from my family video days. This is Cherry Tree Lane. One of my favorite subgenres of horror is the home invasion film. And that's like my, like, that's what scares me is home invasion. You could take slashers, you know, uh, monsters mean nothing to me. Clowns don't really do anything for me. It's home invasion. That's what scares me. And Cherry Tree Lane, Cherry Tree Lane looks like a really good home invasion film. So excited to check that one out finally after all these years. This one is super cool. I just real I just found out that there was actually a, an original PlayStation game based on this movie that looks really interesting. Another one I remember from my when I was going to Blockbuster all the time. I always wanted to check it out, but it was always gone. The City of Lost Children. Now I don't really know what this is, but the cover always intrigued me. It looks like like a sci-fi horror thing. But I don't really know if that's what it is or not. But I am super happy that I was able to find this because it's one that I've always wanted to see. So the City of Lost Children special edition. And there are quite a few special features on this one. Oh, is this directed by Jean-Pierre Junet? I actually know that name. I can't think of how, but I know, I know I've seen some other things from him. Uh, but anyway, as I was checking out at Disc Replay today, I happened to look into the back and I saw there was this l interesting looking collection. So I asked the guy if those were going out. He said yes. And so I, I swapped it with something else and had to grab it. Uh, this is the Wes Craven collection. So we have Dracula 2000, Dracula 2 Ascension, and Dracula 3 Legacy. So if I'm not mistaken, I think the only one that actually was, what are these? It wasn't even directed by, Dracula 2000 wasn't even directed by Wes Craven, which I guess I knew that because uh, it's not one of his films. I don't know if it is produced by him or what, but I thought the first one at least was. I don't know. Anyway, the other two just say Wes Craven Presents, so I don't know. We'll see. Actually, I guess I'm not paying attention. They all say Wes Craven Presents. So either way, I don't know if these are going to be any good or not, but they're always ones that I've been intrigued on, uh, at least Dracula 2000. Frankly, I didn't even know there was a two and a three, so I don't know if they're going to be good, but I figured for the price, why not grab it? I, again, I love getting collections when they are super cheap from Disc Replay. Next up here is one that I am so excited about. This is actually the only Asylum film I was able to find today, and that is Megalodon. So this is the mockbuster of Meg. And so on the back here it says, a giant-sized horror show in the tradition of Godzilla and Jaws. So it's going to be a giant kaiju movie, which is exactly what you would expect. I am so happy I was able to find this one. And it has Michael Madsen in it, so that's just fun. Yeah, Megalodon, a really cool one. I actually had another one. Uh, 
uh, Three Musketeers, which is one I've been meaning to pick up. I had that in my hand, but it didn't have the disc in it. And so typically when you're at Disc Replay, if you find a DVD without the disc, that just means they don't have it. So I didn't even bother because then I would have had to, you know, run to the back and find something else if they didn't have it. Um, so last but not least here, coming into the end, this one was the coolest find of the day, I would, I would argue. I, I actually just found out about this literally last night. I texted my buddy, maybe it was two nights ago, but anyway, I texted my buddy and said, oh my God, how did I not know this existed? This is Total Recall 2070 Machine Dreams. So this, I guess, was actually like a sequel series that was done on HBO. Um, and I think, I don't know if this is like, because I think it was a TV series on HBO or on Showtime, I guess. Um, so I don't know what this actually covers. If this is like a pilot, the pilot episode, if it's the finale, I don't know. It's only 83 minutes. So I have no clue what it's actually going to cover. Um, but yeah, this one just, I didn't know there was a Total Recall 2070. So very intrigued to, to see what this one is all about. Just an awesome find. I just heard about it. I was watching some reseller on, on YouTube the other day and he mentioned that he sold this one for like 15 bucks. And that's when I was like, wait, what? What is that? So I looked it up and lo and behold, I came across it today. So I had to grab it. Total Recall 2070 Machine Dreams. And that's everything. That's all 31 plus items I grabbed today. It was a really productive, really good media hunting day. And so I'm so glad that you guys came along for the ride with me. Thank you so much for watching through this one. If you made it all the way to the end here, um, I would love to hear from you guys. Have you been media hunting lately? And what have you been finding? Is there anything in my stack here that you see that you think, man, you need to watch that one ASAP. Let me know what your recs are from what I ended up grabbing down below. I always appreciate all of your recommendations. So thank you guys so much for that support. Today has been excellent. Like what a perfect way to spend a Saturday, especially at the end when I got to spend some time with the family, went out and about, I went to Target. So, you know, RIP my wallet. That was, whoo boy, <laughs> Target always gets you. But yeah, it was, it was just a great day. Spent like on media, didn't spend a whole lot. So this is just awesome to add this much to the collection for so cheap, which is just kind of like what I do. That's what I love. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like down below. That really does help me out. And like I always say, as evidence here, I don't just talk one piece of media or one style, one genre. I talk all things media, be it books, movies, video games, graphic novels, manga, collectibles. If it's media related, I'm interested in it. And if you are too, you might consider subscribing. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for today's media hunting vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And I just want to say thank you all so much for watching. And I want to encourage you to consume some media today. I'll catch you next time. <laughs>